Welcome to Kunjo's tutorial number two on customizing your widget. This tutorial will cover all of the various options and settings that are available to you. To begin, log into WordPress. Click iShare by Kunjo from the menu. Then select Available Widgets. Here you will see the four bar widgets featured. You are able to activate your bar widgets. You can activate all four to appear on your web page or simply select just one or two to appear. Let's get started so I can show you how to customize each bar available to you. Since each widget can be personally customized by you, each widget features a widget settings menu in addition to a widget preview. The widget preview allows you to view all of the customizations that you've made prior to making it active on your web page. Now let's review the widget settings, the social channels, the bar layout design, the call to action, and the visibility settings. Now let me show you how to customize the social channels on the bottom bar. By going to social channel and selecting it, we'll see active channels and inactive channels. From the list of inactive channels, you have 21 options. All you have to do is drag to activate an additional channel. By selecting another channel and dragging and dropping it into the active channel menu, you're just simply adding it to the bar. These are the channels in this list that will appear on your bar. You also can rearrange them and select the order that you desire. By selecting new window, all you're doing is enabling your user when they click on your widget for their social channel to open in an additional window. Instead of taking your user to another page, the window will pop up on top of your website. Therefore, they can share with all of their family and friends without leaving your website or blog. It's that simple. Make sure to save your settings in addition to confirming that you'd like to change your widget. That's all, and then you'll be returning to the main menu. Now let's go take a look at what this will look like on your social website. This is the way that it will appear on your web page. Do you see that the social channels have actually appeared in the order in which you desired? And only the ones that we've selected in social channel actives are available for use. The new window feature is working properly. When I click on share on dig, a new window pops up with the share on dig information. I can simply share and return back to my blog or website easily. Now let me show you how to customize your bar layout design. There are two wheels featured here. These color wheels are going to allow you to change the background color and text color of your widget. It's extremely simple. Just rotate the wheel, then select the color that you desire. Within the wheel, you're able to move the icon. The icon allows you to select the desired shade of that color. Your possibilities are limitless. You can also select icon style from the various options. positioning the icons that you can change, left or right. Tooltip selection can also be changed. When hovering over your social channels on your widget, you and your user will see the tooltip. You can also change the bar's position and the bar's width. Let's save the changes I've made and view the widget in preview mode. You will see in preview mode that the changes we customized have saved successfully. Now we're able to move on to customize this bottom bar with a message, a special one to your users. It's important to remember that only the bottom and top bar are capable of having the call to action setting selected. The left and right hand side bars do not have the ability for a call to action. Select your message icon from the drop down list. Make sure to select the message position on the bar. 
Make sure to click the message link to the on setting. Once you click to on, you have the ability to customize the background and text color the same way we customized our last widget. The button link is also important. You can enter a URL of choice and link your button to that URL. Prior to being able to view the call to action message, we need to change our visibility settings first. Go to widget settings, select visibility settings. By default, the display message is set to off. Without switching it to on, you will not be able to view the call to action message that we just created. Additionally, you can hide the widget on specific pages or hide the widget on specific posts. You can show the widget on home page, show the widget on pages, all with the ability to turn the setting to on or off, along with show widget on posts. You can even be as specific as showing your widget on a custom post type by selecting specific post types from the drop-down menu. Now let's hit save so we can preview our call to action message on my blog. Everything looks great here. All of our settings have changed successfully. The button color, even the click here button is linked. One of the last widgets I'd like to share with you are the buttons. Here's how to customize your button. It has the same drop-down menu. When we select social channels, this should look familiar. All you do is drag and drop, hit save, and you're ready to go. Now your button layout design. Tooltip style again. Show the shared counter is new. We're going to select yes for this tutorial. The icon style can be selected as well. And now the text color. Work your way around the color wheel and then select the shade. Now the text in front of icons can be changed as well. I'm just going to leave it with I share now. Text position left or right and you're ready to go. Now, make sure to select the visibility settings. Here, you're able to select where the button will be shown, if it's above or below your content, or you can have it set to both. Let's select under content for this example. In addition to the ability to show the widget on or off in all of the following locations. Now, let's preview the button, just as we had set. Additionally, we said yes to turn on the counter. That's why the zero is appearing in each corner. Now let's go back in and shut the counter off so that you can see the button without the counter on. By going back and resetting the counter display to no, in our preview, we're able to see that the button has changed and the counter no longer is visible. Thank you for taking the time to listen, and that concludes this tutorial.